Hi there guys, how you doing? And welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can create this color halftone effect on your text and graphics. I'll pop an example on the screen here of the before and the after. And as you can see, it's quite a subtle but kind of interesting way of using a color halftone and it just adds that sort of faint color halftone dotted effect to the side of your text and graphics. Very simple and easy to do. Hopefully you can follow along pretty pretty quickly and um, yeah, get this design in action. Now if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down, subscribe, drop the video a like and drop a little comment. Let me know what you're doing, what project you're working on. But yeah, let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, so for today's tutorial, we're gonna to wanna to open a brand new document. I just created again a 1920 by 1080 document First thing we're going to want to do before we drop our text graphics and that sort of thing in is just go down to the bottom and create a new solid color. We want to create a white background because this is going to be part of the color half tone effect. You need to have a background when you're compressing the files together for it to work. So once that's dropped in, then we're going to want to grab our text, graphics, logos, whatever, and drop that into this file. So I'm just going to drop in this little XYZ logo, just a little something I made earlier for this. Now the way that this text works again is by using shading or gradient or that sort of thing. So we can get this effect to apply around the edges by using a blur, a glow. So I'm going to show you how to use it using a blur. What we're going to want to do is go up to the object that we've just dropped in and press Command J to create a duplicate and then hide the top layer. Then go down to our bottom layer and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And this is very like experimental, like you can sort of play with this to create more or less of the color halftone effect. I'm just gonna drop mine up to maybe about six. And then I'm gonna unhide the layer on top. So the way I like to have it is I like to make sure that the actual logo is solid with the sort of dots coming off the edge rather than the whole thing sort of morphing into these color halftone effects. So once you've got your blurred one behind and your solid layer on top, what we're gonna do is select our logos and the background, highlight all of them, right click and convert to a smart object. Now that it's converted to a smart object, you wanna to go to filter, pixelate and color halftone and set your settings on screen to what I've got them here. So the radius to 10 and then all the channels to zero and press okay. So all in all, that's pretty much it, you know. Um, it's looking pretty good. So you can see how the solid bits in the middle still stay in place. It has still morphed the edges a little bit, but it's sort of kept that main shape. Whereas if you do it without that shape on top, which I'll go back and show you, it's a little bit thinner and you en end up getting these lines and uh, these sort of gaps in here. Uh, which I don't really like. So by having that one over the top, you just have more of a solid fill in the middle and don't get these like sort of weird holes there where it's blending in. So if you just wanted to add some simple color over this, you can just go to an adjustment layer and select the adjustment layer and you can change the gradient depending on what color you wanna make it. Or if you wanted to isolate this layer, you could select the layer, go to select color range, drop down, go to the highlights and press okay and then just create a mask and then invert the mask and it'll be on an isolated layer, like so. So you can export that as a PNG, that sort of thing. Now, if we were to go back, I'll show you another way to actually use this. Same thing before, I'm just gonna create my two layers as a smart object. So I've just gone back to my original designs. One's blurred, one's not. Convert that to a smart object. And as I said before, it works as a gradient. So if I wanted to maybe have it kind of blending in from my color halftone, what I could do is create a mask, go down to the gradient tool, change that to black. So I'm removing the mask and sort of add a bit of a gradient coming in there, like so. And then if we go back and highlight these two, convert to a smart object and go filter color halftone, it will reapply this effect with the same settings before. You can see how that blends in from the white to the darker areas. Probably wouldn't work in this example, but maybe if you wanted to do that, say from the bottom, see how it sort of blends in from the bottom, which again is very, very cool. So you can get creative with this as much as possible. You can even use go filter, blur gallery, fill blur, and you can select areas in which you wanna have it blurry. I like these two, convert to a smart object, filter, pixelate, color halftone, back to the settings we have again, press OK. And you can see now how it sort of blends off these edges by using that blur. Very cool, very fun and easy to do. Yeah, allows you to get a little bit creative with your uh, clean graphics and add a little something else into it. Very simple and easy to do, very quick tutorial, uh, just something I've been messing around recently and I thought I would share with you. But hopefully just a simple process that you can now implement into your designs going forward and maybe use it on your next project. But yeah, if you do use any of these on social media or if you mess around with these designs, post them on there, make sure to tag me in it and I'll be sharing those onto my story. Also, if you guys have any ideas on videos you'd like to see, any tutorials, techniques, that sort of thing, let me know down below and um, I'll pick them out. If I pick your one, I'll, uh, I'll pop your name on the screen as like a little shout out. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you again soon with a new one. So take care and see you in a bit.